Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's answer the question, what if apps are not your calling? All right, so I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. Yesterday was Father's Day, and I have to show you this Father's Day present I got, right? So this is a, uh, an apron that was made by my youngest son. I guess he took one of the designs from our spread shirt shop, uh, and he added the barbecue to it. So here is Overpass Barbecue Apron. So that's, uh, I think, hey, that's pretty cool. So if this apps thing doesn't work out, right, I could always start up Overpass Barbecue, right, and my thing will be, my name is Eric and I make ribs. So today I want to answer a, a, a question from Rifat uh, who ca that came in yesterday. So uh, Rifat uh, Erdem Sahin, who if you follow the channel for the last few years, he's been very active. He's always commenting. He's always answering questions and everything. So what he says is, watching George Lucas documentaries today, who is also an INFP. Maybe making apps is not your calling, Eric. Ever question that? So an INFP is a personality type. I think it's a 16 personalities. Rifat asked me to take the personality test and I did. And I came in as a INFP, which is a type of mediator. Right? I've never been much on personality tests. And I know I've had a lot of people ask me to do it, like a disc profile and everything like that. But I've never been, like I just, I, I think my fear is that I don't want people to tell me what I'm not good at because I know I'm not good at certain things yet, but hopefully I will be in the future. But um, I know there's science behind them that might just be a bit naive on me about me. But he said, maybe making apps is not your calling, Eric. Ever question that? Yeah, I question that all the time. Like, I don't think I was destined to make apps, right? I don't think that was I was put on earth. Luckily, before the end of my life, the app market started so I could do mobile applications. And sometimes I think maybe, you know, if 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 the app market disappeared tomorrow, what would I do? But the thing I really love, and I obviously love the app market, and I love making apps, and I love software development in general, and the thing I like the most about it is creating new things. There's something that software developers do that other areas of IT especially don't do, like um, like infrastructure and, and um, you know, databases and things like that, is in software, there's a million ways to get to where you need to go and you have to choose the, the best way or the most efficient way or whatever. So, and we, software developers, we create things out of thin air, out of nothing. And I really like that. That's something I really enjoy about, about the profession, about the industry in general. See, when I was a teenager, when I was like in junior high and high school, if anybody asked me what I wanted to do when I grew up, I would I tell them I wanted to be a writer because I was, it was a one thing. I was a very shy, quiet kid. I was the, the one that everyone said, you know, Eric, why don't you ever say anything? Why don't you ever talk? And every parent-teacher conference was, you know, was the same. They said, Eric's a, Eric's a bright boy. He just really needs to come out of his shell, right? And I hated it. I hated it. So I knew I wasn't really good at a lot of things because people told me I wasn't good at it. So, I, but I thought I could write. I could make up stories and I could do that. And every time we'd have a creative writing assignment, I was really good at it, but I was very, I was not disciplined. Like I even, I failed English at least once, I think I may have failed it twice, and I had to go to, to, no, I did fail it twice. I had to go to summer school twice for English, even though that was my favorite subject, because it was all that diagramming sentences and read, you know, read this poem and everything like that. Uh, so, but I wanted to be a writer, whether or not it was writing novels or writing screenplays, uh, writing comic books, whatever I happened to be in a, into at the time. And of course, here I am, years later, I'm not a writer. I, I, just, I never did, because I just, I just never did it. I just didn't have the discipline. I had talent, but no discipline. So you know, that talent alone is not enough. And when I finished high school, I, I went into the army, and when I got out of the army, I went to university, and I told them I wanted to be a journalist, and they said, well, journalism's kind of full, and I said, well, I, I guess I like history. So then I went to, to, to study history, right? But it was always that, you know, that thing that I wanted to do. And when I got into software development, I was that was one of the things I really liked about it, because they, they said, this is the way you should do this, but there's loads of different ways to get there. If, if you run into ro one roadblock one way, you code around it, you do something else, you always have these obstacles, you have to do it, and it's a very creative skill, right? And it's, a, it's something that I love. And obviously, you know, with apps, we could put apps out onto the app market, and the amount of times people have told me, why don't you just focus on your one big app and forget all the other ones that don't earn enough money? 
But part of it that I like doing is putting new things out there onto the app market. I like producing things. I like putting, I like just, I like making things, right? And it's just, I think it's just, I think that a lot of us are like that. We just like to make new things and put them out onto the app market. The same thing with the video. I am lucky enough that I can make a new video every single day. I mean, sometimes they suck. Sometimes they're not very good. Sometimes they're better than others. But, you know, but it's something that I get to do because because I want to be prolific. I, want, I like to, to do new things. And I think some people get into the app market because they see, you know, Snapchat was bought by such and such or, or Snap, you know, Instagram was bought by Facebook by such billions or whatever and they think obviously you can make a lot of money in apps I want to get into apps because you can make a lot of money But then some of us do it because we like to make new things and put new things onto the app market And if you work for a, a software company or you, you you work for others a lot of times You don't have that creative control and as app developers and as indie app developers You have a lot of creative control into it. And this is why I love working with app developers. This is why I love software and I love doing that. And if I always think about, and I do think about sometimes, if the, for some reason the app market went away one day, what would I do? I do know it'll be something where it involves creating something and, and making new things, right? I just can't, I, that's just, it's what I love to do. So, or, you know, I can make ribs. So anyway, that, that's it for today. Let me know what you guys think. I, I mean, is that, what are your motivations for, for making apps? What what do you like about it? Is it the money? Is it the uh, is it the the creativity? What what do you like about it? So anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.